Guys, another day, more Black Ops 3 news for you guys. That is right. Today we're going to be covering some small pieces of multiplayer information and also some inter interesting stuff regarding the campaigns. And the campaigns actually kind of been overlooked for Black Ops 3 in terms of the reveal ordering this year. It's been very different to prior years. Normally it's all about uh, single player, single player, single player. All the campaign stuff comes out first. We then get little bits of multiplayer, then get the big multiplayer reveal. And the third game mode typically sort of goes untalked about until very close to the release. I'm actually going to start off with the multiplayer stuff first, believe it or not. So, Dave Von Der of course the lead multiplayer designer for Call of Duty Black Ops 3, has been responding to some tweets on Twitter. It's always a great way of get, getting some sort of like small bits of information through his Twitter feed because he often does the odd reply and today we've got exactly that. So he responded to a user that said, will there be riot shields in Black Ops 3? He responded that within multiplayer there will not. I personally, I'm happy about that. I mean, I didn't really use riot shields much. I just saw them. They were kind of annoying. I mean, if you want to use them, you can use them. They're fun to mess around with with friends and just to troll other people. But... They will not be returning in multiplayer. Do you like using them? Is that annoying? Let me know down below. Next thing is also the movement feature, which is quite a big one. So of course within Black Ops 3 you've got the thrust jump, which is like a gradual upward jump. You've got the slide, uh, you've got several new movement features that are similar to Advanced Warfare, but toned back and made more realistic, right? Advanced Warfare was crazy, lots of jumping everywhere, but to basically to make up for that, they actually had a playlist, I don't know if you even knew this, but they do have a playlist where you can play Advanced Warfare without any of the advanced movements at all. So you can jump into Advanced Warfare and play the game with the same guns, same maps and everything, but you'll be moving as if you're playing like COD 4 or Modern Warfare 2 without all of those new movement features. I haven't done it a lot and there are a lot of ladders and, and actual ways to get up to positions on, on maps in Advanced Warfare that you probably thought, why is that there? And that's because you can play the game without that movement feature. Now, someone asked over on Twitter, if Black Ops 3 will have a classic playlist like Advanced Warfare did where you don't have all the new movement systems. He said, no, it will not. Combat movement mechanisms are the core to the game loop and it cannot be disabled. So you're probably thinking, what on earth is game loop? Game loop is how a game plays out and how you move throughout the map and how that movement system works. And Treyarch are really keen on the fact that they want everything to flow nicely. That's how you can glide over objects, you can uh, thrust jump, you can wall run, you can slide. And all of these movement features are making what multiplayer is all about in Black Ops 3. So you cannot remove that. You've always been playing with new movement features. I'm not sure if you guys played the classic playlist much within Advanced Warfare, but hey, if you didn't, you can always go back and give it a go. So these next bits of information are weird. Like when I hear about them, I'm like, okay, this is this is like very out of context unless you know everything about the game and obviously no one does so i'm not sure they give us such weird pieces of information but it has been sort of teased that there's going to be a fashion designer called narcissus dravis dravinisky um apologies if i pronounced that incorrectly um and also a movie called tidal vortex now the designer narcissus um is like well well renowned within black ops 3 as being this fantastic fashion designer who comes from uh croatia and he's gone ahead and it's just, you can see on screen here, designed some crazy new fashion stuff and there's been a lot of talk, a lot of hype about it. Uh, he's released a new line called the Label 8 NZ Fit, uh, whatever that is. And uh, the movie called Tidal Vortex, it's a brand new movie that releases within the game, which uh, smashes bo box office records, making hundreds of millions of dollars. Uh, and I know it's really out of context, but these are the pieces of information that have been teased for us currently. Um, I think it's going to be a really good campaign, man. I think it's going to be a really, really good campaign. And the final piece of information is far more interesting because it's to do with a big disaster that's happened in Singapore. I've actually been to Singapore before. Extremely hot, but an amazing, amazing country. I went there when I was on my way to Australia. Sort of layovered in uh, Singapore for like two days, I think. It awesome, awesome place. But regardless, there was a big, big uh, explosion, a big, big disaster that happened uh, towards the center of Singapore. Hence some of the images. You may see the image in the thumbnail if I decide to use it in the thumbnail. Like a big sort of almost nuclear explosion just goes off and just wrecks everything and as a result of this big explosion a result of this big sort of like upset and up happening you've just got this image here which seems to lead to a quarantine zone so perhaps some sort of virus or something spreads because of this explosion in this warehouse which leads to part of the main city actually being cut off and it's been constantly um, covered and looked at by uh, one of the news actual uh, stations within Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I think it's going to be a big part of single player. And whatever's happening here in Singapore, maybe it happens over the rest of the world. Maybe it's not an accident. Maybe it is some sort of planned attack. But this seems big and is a big part of the campaign. So a weird one, I know, a weird mix of information. But the multiplayer information is cool. The single player information is 
All I can say is it's interesting. I think that explosion is definitely something that's going to be big. Is it, was it planned? Was it an accident? You know, who knows what's going on here. But more Call of Duty Black Ops 3 information for you guys summarised here into one video. Let me know what you're thinking down below. What you're thinking of the multiplayer stuff. What you're thinking of these explosions. What's going on. Keep you guys updated. So cheers for watching. Check out more videos on screen here in case you missed them. I'll see you guys next time.